Patuxent Research Refuge of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is nestled between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, Maryland. The refuge, through research management, is making scientific breakthroughs to conserve and protect the monarch butterfly, other wildlife, and their habitats. The monarch has become you know, an icon of the needs that pollinators have for healthy habitats. But when you're managing a field or a meadow for monarch butterflies, you're also supporting habitat for dozens if not hundreds of other pollinating species. Monarchs have been on the decline by 90% in recent years as the result of loss of habitat, agricultural practices, and the loss of wintering habitat in Mexico and California. But a major conservation project at Patuxent involves a partnership with local transmission power companies that have chosen not to mow here as often. This effort helps to preserve native plants, including milkweed, for the survival of monarch eggs, larvae, and other nectar plants that monarchs need for adult feeding to fuel them for migration and mating. The effort at no cost to the Fish and Wildlife Service is a major benefit for saving pollinators. They're willing to work with us to manage these fields in the way that we would prefer to, to manage them. But we ask them to not just mow, but refrain from mowing for longer intervals to give these plants and others time to flourish. It's a little harder for them, maybe more expensive for them to do that, but they're providing a wonderful service. Partners and education are key to conservation. Pace University student Dwayne Benz worked at the refuge as a directorate resource assistant fellow. He has also made a major contribution for significant change. And I was brought here um, specifically to do a species um, community composition study on moths and butterflies, Lepidoptera, on the power line right of ways and how they utilize uh, shrubs, shrubland habitat versus grassland habitat. Meanwhile, the refuge also partners with Fairfax County Public Schools in Virginia to promote schoolyard habitats and, of course, states are also a major part of conservation success. Uh, our state partners are, are critical to helping with resource conservation issues. You know, we can't possibly do it all. We wouldn't want to do it all. We rely heavily on partners. In Washington, Kim Betton for the Wildlife and Sport Fish Restoration Program of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, Department of the Interior.